Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Smunkle. My name is Chris and I will be your host this evening. We are in Riverview, a little town in the middle of nowhere. Serene, peaceful, perfect setting for someone to, you know, get away from the, from the city life. Which is where we get to Fred. Fred used to be an accountant. Well, I suppose he's still an accountant, but he used to have a job as an accountant. Until he got laid off, budget cuts and all that. And instead of moping around at home, Fred decided to liquidate all his funds and move to, well, in this case, the middle of nowhere, and follow his dream of becoming a farmer. So here we are. He bought a new pickup truck, he bought a little piece of land, and a small little, well, this is almost a shack, but you know, it's home, and it's going to be home for a little while. So first things first, let's go down to the local agro shop. You already spoke to the guys there. And they have a system that allows people to work for other farmers. So they've got a notice board where odd jobs <coughs> are posted. And then from there you can speak to the farmers and then do the job fertilizing, harvesting, cultivating, whatever it might be at that stage. And in this case, with Fred not having any equipment yet or a piece of land to form or anything, that's actually going to be the perfect situation or perfect solution for him to make some money. Now, ideally, eventually, he wants his own piece of land, he wants his own equipment, and he wants to farm for himself. But we all know farming is a very expensive hobby. Land is expensive, equipment is expensive. I mean, you need tractors, harvesters, cedars, all those kind of things. It, it gets to a level of insanity if you imagine the amount of money that you need to invest. So, let's see what's on the job board. We have harvesting, fertilizing, and that's it. So. Given the limited amount of experience that Fred has, he'll stick to fertilizer. Start off small and go bigger from there. So, field 29. I think we'll use the farmer's equipment for this. And there we go. Lovely piece of machinery, this. A Stora Emperor Imperador. Well, wow, that's 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 a mouthful to say. But it is lovely. Interesting sign. Don't inhale, got it. In case of emergency, break the window. Got it. Okay, so we need to fill up. So let's purchase some fertilizer. See if one's going to be enough. Let's check our trusty GPS. Where's field 29? All the way down that way. Okay. Everything's electronic and GPS driven these days. You gotta love it. and there's really not a lot happening here it's absolutely perfect to get away from the old city life
think this is the entrance. Now in theory, spraying fertilizer should be a fairly simple and easy job. It's just going up and down the rows and you know, pressing button. I'm afraid dirty's licenses and all that, but experience wise there is not a lot. Let's get this done. As big as this equipment is, it actually might take some time to get through this. It's not very pleasant view angles in this thing, let's be honest. I think I'll take you guys along just doing the headlands and then from there you know maybe just cut the video I think if you constantly look at me going up and down the whole time you might either get nauseous or severely bored This is not a small field, that's for sure. done a complete circuit now. This is going to be the final final stretcher. This thing is seriously slow. I suppose the whole point of you know, doing this is in all honesty the, the relaxed vibe and not chasing deadlines. Stora is South American, if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure you correct me on that. So that seems to be for the headlands. I'll bring you guys back when I'm close to finished.
Okay, so we're on the final bit of land that needs to be fertilized. And then after this we can go back to the shop, speak to the owner, let him know that we're done, and hopefully we can get paid. This might not be the fastest way to make money, but you know until we have our equipment. This is this is going to be our, our way of life. I might actually look at buying a tractor today still. And I would just around there like I'm so excited to actually get my first piece of equipment and you know start using it. And also if we use our own equipment to do you know the fertilizing and cultivating jobs and all those kind of things, we actually get paid more because we don't have to borrow the farmer's equipment. a new experience, a fun experience. I'm looking forward to doing something like this again. The plus side of using the farmer's equipment and we're not using our own is the fact that we get to use a wide array of different equipment, you know, different tractors and everything, which in itself can also be fun. We're not tied into a single piece of machinery. And I think while we're at the shop, we could maybe look at prices and you know start to plan what we're going to need, how much money we're going to need, and you know what we actually can do, and how long it's going to take before we can do it. I mean, we started off with not a lot of money. So we'll see how far we can get. That's the road to our house. Let's try not to scratch this too much. I mean, it's not like this is a new machine, but. And I still is on the house, so at least try to take good care of it. And there we are. Lovely. Look at that. And that's money in the bank. I think we should take another fertilizing job. And just to get us going for this day, a little bit of extra money in the bank. I think harvesting wise, we should wait until a little bit more used to tractors and you know how everything works. Uh, so let's take field 10 for Mr. Holtzman. Yes, I think we're going to take field in. Let's borrow the items. Actually, while I was in the cab of the other machine spraying, I spoke to the guys here at the at the store. And they said that the electronic sheets that we use to check the contracts and speak to the farmers um, we can actually access that remotely and do everything um, you know from in the field wherever we might be um, they created a user for me but it's only going to be up and running by tomorrow they said hopefully um, so we should be able to check contracts and everything from our PDA on cell phone by tomorrow we just need to come back to the store to you know fetch the equipment but at least we'll have an idea of you know what we can do and what to expect and all those kind of things so we're borrowing a New Holland T5 100 uh, it's one of the smallest New Hollands but it's actually quite a nice tractor the 
there's lots of bells and whistles. So that's going to be for the different hydraulics, hydraulic inputs. Um, the yellow one's going to be for the PTOs, both front and back. And that's going to be the cruise control, the orange one there, I believe. I haven't driven this before. Everything seems to be working. Okay. Let's get you up. I might buy a new island like this for me, to be quite honest. And just something small to start off with. Let's get the front wheel on so that the tractor's balance and doesn't tip over backwards when you start filling this up. I don't think it's going to be a lot left, so we're going to have to buy more. Should have thought about that while I was here, but hey, we're still near the shop, so that's fine. sagging down. Good thing we have the front weight. So let's check where oof. it's a little bit light on the front end. Uh, let's check where field 10 is. Right up there near our house. Awesome. Field 10 is actually one of the fields or one of the areas that I thought you know we could purchase for ourselves and um, start work on. I'll show you the other piece of land I had in mind while we're up there. Just have to drive very carefully because the tractor is very light on its front. Um, it's quite a lot of weight it's carrying in the back, it's over two tons. And the front weight I believe is only like a ton or something like that, so we should be very very careful. And this is a small tractor, so not a lot of weight from the engine or anything like that. Whew. This is going to be interesting. This is nerve-wracking. So the other piece of land I had in mind was this piece right there. It's not humongous, but you know it's close to our home. Um, you know, once we put up a shed and everything, we can keep equipment that side. And I think that they asked about 150,000 or something for that piece of land. So it's not, it's not a lot. It's not a big field, but I think you know we can make a decent start on that. But um. Let's focus, let's get field 10 fertilized and then go from there. So again I'm going to do the headlands, it's just easier to turn around 
You don't have to go into the bushes all the time. Something like this should be ideal for a small farm starting out. You don't really need a lot more of a lot more power than what this tractor has got to give. It struggles a little bit going up here. But I mean it's not too bad. If you've got a relatively flat piece of land like that other one I've been looking at then this shouldn't be a problem and with our horsepower should be able to pull a small cultivator and seed or anything so I think really you know, we'd be looking at something like this and even the sprayer I think is a little bit big for this tractor um, you get smaller ones that broadcast the solid fertilizer that might be a little bit more suited for a tractor this size. But again, you know, equipment, we're not, we're not there yet. We're not really close to where we can think about honestly buying equipment. We're just speculating now and, you know, dreaming to be quite honest. least there's AC in the cab. Gotta love AC. speed on the top end but fairly quick and easy in this job take too long at all. I'm gonna fold it up. Good, let's get going. Back to the store, return the equipment for the farmer and hopefully get paid. I think we're going to do a lot of driving around in this area. It's not a very big town, um, but there are quite a few fields, um, some of them are actually quite large. So I don't know if these roads are really suited for large equipment, but you know, I think the farmers around here, you know, they try and fit as large as possible equipment through. I mean, the larger the equipment, the faster the faster turnaround on the, on the fields. So effectively you're always looking to get as big equipment as you can uh, for the amount of money 
and everything that you have. Ooh, lifting the front end there. Alright, it's a little bit better, a little bit lighter. We did spend a couple of liters of fertilizer, so it should be a little bit easier to handle. And I think, you know, we might have time for one last fertilization job today. Um, and after that, I think I will end this vlog. You know, this is basically just an introduction into the society here. Um, getting to meet the farmers. You know, letting everybody know that, you know, here I am. Please use me, I need the money. You know, that kind of thing. Okay, we are done. And there we go. So let's see what other contracts there are available. I think we're going to stick with fertilizing. Just not too comfortable getting to an harvester yet. It's it's a big deal. So field 19 for Mr. Ek. And oh, we're actually gonna broadcast. That's that's brilliant. So let's let's take this one. We will borrow the items. Thank you very much. And there is Mr. X. Case. What are we using? A Puma 185. This is not a small tractor. I think this is about medium sized. Very neat. I think very well put together. Case is quite a nice brand to be using. And we should break the glass in case of emergency with a hammer. Uh, hammer, hammer. Yeah, I don't see a hammer. Maybe we can use the fire extinguisher, but you know, if there's a fire, uh, it might be a little bit of trouble. Anyway. Let's get this hooked up. I don't think we're going to need a front weight. This thing has got its own wheels, so it should be fine. I think all we need to do is fill it up with some fertilizer. Okay, fertilizer port, let's get loading, and let's get broadcast. I'm quite excited. Again, like I said, you know, using the other farmer's equipment gives us the opportunity to you know, use a bunch of different equipment. You know, try out everything which would in the end give us a better idea of what we want and what there is let's see if we can see ah. there we go filling up nice Let's get to field. It was 19. I'm just gonna make sure before we drive all the way out there, and you know we're at the wrong field. Field 19, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, let's put on the GPS. Field 19 is on the other side of the river. Okay. Let's see if we can get there without getting too lost or doing any damage. Looks like it's crossing over here. I'm sure there's going to be a dirt road or something leading out to field 19. I think let's take this one. Maybe a 
this one. Let's see where it comes out. So like this field's been it's actually quite a large field in in the coast of them, so way down the line we might expand to something like that. But I think a small field to begin with is going to be what we need to do. And I can't go through here. Okay. And there's nothing in this field so you could reverse through there, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get lost on this, on these roads for quite some time still. It's a little bit of a maze, to be quite honest. Okay, down the road we go. So that's gonna be for field 18. Drop off over there. Where am I going now? This can't be right. This cannot be right. Because where I need to go is over there. Is there another road across the across the pond that I just missed. I think we're going to have to do some field cutting here. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll bring you guys back when I actually find out where I'm going. So it turns out there was another road across the pond way down south and in all honesty it took more than an hour just to get to this field. It's a massive roundabout route. But we're finally here. So we can start fertilizing this field. Now this is a little bit different than the sprayer fertilizer. Um, it's not as wide a spread, um, but you can travel a lot faster with this. So it shouldn't take too long. And this is also not even on this field, so. We should get this done fairly quickly. I think, yeah, I think I'll bring you guys back you know, once I'm closer to done with this. And we're done. Don't take too long. 
half an hour or so maybe and now for the long and arduous trip back to the store you know 17 left 32 right travel straight for an hour and a half make a turn you know go back three hours and Bob's your uncle sights on the left it really is a massive massive roundabout route to get to here we have to go south for quite a bit it's I mean it's to be expected with a small town and everything um, if you try and fit in a lot of arable um, arable ground in a town that doesn't really have the infrastructure for anything big well, you're gonna sit with situations like this but at least it's it's a pretty landscape you know it might be a long trip but it's beautiful trees grass when you see all the fields wheat and barley growing it's it's nice could have been worse but you know, as you can see it's it's a massive long route south that we have to take just to cross the river and get to the field and it's narrow road I think this is some plantation area or something like that looks like it and here we have the bridge way down south At least we can go a fair bit faster with this than we did with the New Holland, which was very light on the front end. So, you know, we can travel at the full 50 kilometers an hour without having to worry too much about, you know, the tractor lifting off and trying to fly and in, in putting us in the bushes or something like that. Finally, we made it back. That really is a long trip to take. Whew, okay. That was an interesting trip. And complete the contract. Thank you very much. I think we're going to leave it there for today. I know all we did was fertilizing. But, you know, it's our first day in the country. Um, it's our first day with everybody around us. So, you know, at least, you know, we, int we introduced ourselves. So they know about us now. Um, we'll have the the application on our, on our PDA from tomorrow where we can actually check everything with us. What I think I'll do is I'll spend a little time this last hour or so that the shop is still open see what equipment is available you know start planning and dreaming and you know we'll see we'll see where everything takes us but 
you know until the next vlog ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time you can vote rate subscribe share whatever you want but until we meet again